Hey guys, today I wanted to make a quick video on some of the more obscure and hidden features of the fillet command. So when you're making a fillet, um, sometimes you're like, oh, I like this radius, but actually I also want to fillet some additional edges. The simplest way of doing that is if you hold down the control key, the fillet is temporarily undone and you can modify the selection by clicking, for example, which will add to the selection. I'll click here too. And when you let go of the control key, the fillet will be um, applied to that modified selection. So I can hold down control again, remove this one, remove this one, and let's say I'm happy with that, and right click to confirm. Now another sort of very hidden feature of the fillet command is that you can copy radiuses from one fillet to another. So let's say I have this fillet, but I'd like it to match this one. Well, I can just click on this and it will match. Um, let me undo that real quick or make it somewhat different. You can also click on um, a face on the same body or even like a spherical face or a cylindrical face, which, uh, which can be cool. So either a fillet blend face or something with a fixed radius like a cone, a cylinder, or a sphere. Now that can be really interesting in the context of cylinders because you can, you know, copy the radius here, but you can also copy the radius from the cylinder itself. And in that case, it happens to be um, a perfect round cap um, for, the, for the cylinder. Now, the next thing I wanna show um, is what Add Tangent Edges does. So you'll notice that I selected one edge, but it filleted the whole chain. You can, if you don't like that, you can unclick Add Tangent Edges, um, which sometimes you will want to do that because you're wanting to isolate the behavior um, that you're on. Now the next thing I want to show is variable fillets. Now to add a variable fillet, all you got to do is type V, and it will add gizmos at the beginning and end of your fillet chain, the edge chain. And you can just tweak things like that. Um, now, there are some subtleties of what happens when you have a closed fillet chain. So that one was open. But if you want to add variable fillets here, you actually need to choose two points to place the gizmos because there's no like magical beginning and end for like a circular shape like this. And then once you um, place those two points, you can um, tweak it as you like. And, it, and you can have more than two points. On an open chain, for example, when you add two, you can type with, by typing V, you can type V again and add another one of these little acupuncture guys as you like. And the final thing I guess I wanna show is how limit points behave. So let's say we have I'll make this a chamfer just, uh, I'll make this a, sorry, a chamfer just for the sake of variety. We can add a limit point by typing L. And what that allows us to do is it'll only pick like one side of the fillet on the chain. So we can toggle it by clicking this button and we can have like up to two on a chain. I typed L again, I'm gonna insert another one. Now these have to be like coherent, so I can't just flip this one, I also will have to flip that one at the same time. But, uh, but yeah, you can do that up to two times. Um, and yeah, I think that kind of summarizes the power of some of the obscure features of the fillet command.